So we are at Komombo, which is very close to the city of Aswan. And this is a Ptolemaic period temple dedicated to Horus and also to Sobek, the crocodile. And what we have here is a place of initiation. It's a place to overcome your fear. Whoops. So this is where the initiate walks in. Then you go down the flight of stairs. And then around this way. Another deep shaft. So I think there's a staircase at some point that enters here. And then this other entrance down through this way. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, what? So you come out there, once you find the way out, because the crocodiles are hopefully floating around near the surface, then you make your way up the spiral staircase, and then there's a way to get out over here. You think that huh. goes down deeper where the gravel is? What's that? The gravel, you think it went deeper than... Uh, a little bit, maybe. Hey, Brian. Yeah. yeah so to repeat that, you enter in through there, and you wind up going underground. And then you come out through that hole. It's about a third of the way up. And then you're in the water, splashing around. And then hopefully you find the staircase. And you work your way up the staircase and get out through that way, bypassing the crocodiles who were fed about an hour before you entered for your initiation of fear. So the main temple complex of Komombo is here. And we're going to walk down to the left and see an area where there are lots of depictions on the walls. Including depictions of medical instruments. Okay, we're with our travel coordinator, Mo Taha, of Select Egypt Travel, and we're going to enter an area that shows many things, including surgical instruments, that any medical professional watching this would uh, be able to recognize. So you can see here many different things that would be used to some degree, degree even in modern times. Scalpels and other scissors. Yeah, I just need two, three bottles. Yeah, the bottle, we can bring it from here. You can make it 
And we were taught that this symbol here means the walls have ears. And this, I was taught, represents the 42 tribes of the ancient Comitian people, who were those prior to the dynastic Egyptians, representing seemingly many different races of people. And now we're going to head back out. These mud brick walls are more recent than the internal Ptolemaic structure. So superior construction prior to the inferior. It's quite possible the inferior was done by the Romans to fortify the temple. Make sure that nobody could break in. I don't know who that would have been, but kind of basic story of civilizations. And just the grandeur. That even in the Ptolemaic times, as in the Greco Roman, you were still capable of creating beautiful works of art.